Hello, hello, hello. We're now live. We're going to be playing Song of Horror today. Um, hopefully we're going to be finishing out Song of Horror. So, we'll just hop right into it. Oop. As I almost pressed the wrong screens. As I just did at the beginning. Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Always nice to see you cuties. Pull up the game. Honestly, I don't really remember where we were. Um, pretty sure we're looking for. It's been a while. I don't cut stress a couple days, so I don't remember where. Um, <laughs> ah, I remember now. We are. So let's see if it would give me a hint again. Alright, we have to go upstairs. Um, we need something to grab that stapler. windows never creepy like they were putting a radiator in A harp. Looks like someone covered it on the other side. Oh. Guessing this is hiding spot. Wait, what? Find the keys up, maybe? Yeah, I don't see anything. Assuming I have to come back to this. Music can really help with mental illness. I'm glad this patient had a chance to pursue their hobby. That is nice. I like that. I wonder if they were writing that same song in the music book. That would kind of be horrifying. Like what they're practicing is. It doesn't like the, the light, but it likes the song. Yeah, I thought so. Probably playing the same exact song the music box plays. Oh. Well, hello, booty cheeks. Is that a pee pee?
Just like the patient never got around to finishing that painting. It looks nice, honestly. She's right when it says definitely looks professional. I was gonna say, why is there another hiding spot? It's not comforting. Nothing else I can get into. Oh. That one makes it seem a little indentation on the map. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck off me. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> I hated that. Thank God, I don't know how I managed to get up. I hate that so much. I hate it so much. Fucking hell. Poor fucking deer. Axidermin's instruction. Cryptic notes written by a psych psychiatric patient. She blinks, looking by hunger, tis nighttime, she listens. She fights swift, lethal, silent, you scream as she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest and hoots from the wind, announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you and blood spills as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings, and satisfied, she sleeps. Gross. Hello, badger. Hello to you, amazing human you. Hope you're doing well, Badger. <laughs> if these animals were alive, it would be like Noah's Ark. Yeah, except he has way more than two of every animal. <laughs> Shit. Blocked off. Ow! Oh, for fucks. Oh, hallucination of the wardrobe. What do I have on me? Nailer. Adeline's drawings. Ah, uh, yes, I love that same exact wardrobe we just saw. Oh, this one. Not that way. Uh uh. This one's locked. This one has a demon behind it. Alright. Mm -mm. So... What are your only choices to go to that piano thing? Anything that might
Uh... No idea what I'm doing. Oh, I missed a room in the film projector room. Uh, ignore that creepy stuff. Oh, go back down, go back down, go back down, go back down, go back down. But this shows a door. It's literally a door behind this. Back to security. Wait, if I cl take the power off that, can I still go through that door? found them more yet but like if I turn the power off that can I still go through that security door that's the question I have Maybe I have to go back to the dining hall. And the padded cells are, it's horrendous. Maybe, just maybe I have to go where that thing tried to kill me was. Oh, 
It would be very weird if the morgue was through the dining hall. kitchen what the am i hallucinating i need light to go through there <laughs> Mm. Damn demon, go away from me. I'm genuinely at a loss of like where I'm supposed to go. I'm just like, huh? I have confusion. Like my mother option is to What's outside? Is there another way through somewhere outside? Daniel, get that. What I don't get is where I'm supposed to go next. Alright, I give. I look at bigger guide. But, hello again, Badger. I don't know if you're still here. But, I love you and hope you're doing well. I'm looking up the guide.
Oh, I got you. Totally missed that. There's a lamp I'm supposed to turn on. Whoopsie doopsie. was the lamp oh. genuinely was scared, so scared of something that was about to appear there it's like two of the hospital's patients shared a little secret So it's this one. Oh God, I'm gonna have trouble remembering this one. Is that one that weird cube thing? Where's that A? Is that second what's that one right there impossible to tell what that is oh, it's this swerve thing two lines and then that thing two lines and that one that looks like a backwards J It's this. Uh, I really hope it's this one. That. 
Wait, did I do the wrong one? I might have done the wrong one. Yeah, I think it was the H. Shit. See if it will still let me do it. Okay, I'm just going to follow this guy's version of it. Or flight key. That's, that's this one. Third white key. Or flight key. Second white key. Oh, I didn't. I must not have done it right. What the hell? Uh. Okay, let me do it again. Third white key. It's this one. Fourth white key. This one. Second white key, that one. Sixth white key. Fifth white key. Third white key. First black key. Fourth white key. Third white key. Fourth again. Second. Sixth. And that should be the final white key. I'm literally following it to the T and it's still not working. We're going to do this again. Third white key. Fourth. A. That. That.
There we go. Downstairs. What the hell did I just play? These notes. I felt something indescribable. And terrifying. Yeah, well now you've heard the song. Oh, you mean you're gonna die next? Brown key's gone. Uh, use this here. I wonder if this projector still works. We'll We're gonna see right something out. horrifying. I just know it. What the fuck is it? 1920. And you, I never pronounce her name. Aridine. Oh my god, we're actually playing it. I was staring at it like, what the fuck's happening? Hi, Ariadne. How are Ariadne. you? Ariadne. That's how Do you, you feel like talking today? Hmm. You know, I think you're right. But I don't see things like you do. If you don't feel like talking, you can draw. Whatever comes to you first. It's a box with paints on the table. Like the light. The light. Who doesn't like the light, Ariadne? Who is that old lady? It's me. We can listen to your box if you want. Sometimes I hear you playing it when I pass by your room. Creepy music box, let's go. No. No, you don't hear them. You don't see it or understand it. What don't I see? Tell me how to understand you, Ariadne. Sleep. Like me, in my bed. You want me to sleep with you? It, it's... It's normal not to want to sleep alone. Sometimes I get scared at night. Yeah, that's not what she said. At home. Daddy, mommy, and Elaine sleep there. When they understand. Sorry? You mean you want me to sleep at your house? Yes. Sleep there and listen to the song. And then you'll talk to me. Oh, who's this gentleman? Is it your daddy? No. It's Mr. Neuer. Neuer? What the fuck was Neuer? I remember that being important. Wait, 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 wait. What did she say? Oh, right. Mr. Neuer? Daniel? How is that even possible? That recording is almost 80 years old. That's the fucking door I can finally go into. Or 
First experiment, foreign experiments, detail of a study conducted by Bernice. Patient Ariadne. Description, the volunteers are divided into two groups, the experimental group and the control group. The 12 su subjects will be placed in individual padded cells. The six subjects from the central group, north, will live there for the duration of the experiment, but will not experience any other change in their, their usual routine. The six subjects in the experiment Group South, including Ariadne, will be played two cycles of the song from their music box daily, approximately four minutes. This procedure will concern you for 21 days. Notes the patient expected to verify that the melody has no effect on people. Oh, this the patient is expected to verify that the melody has no effect on people, and this fact is presumed to help in the treatment of her mental condition, which does not seem to improve at all, nor respond to other treatments. Sorry, my throat hurts. Regardless of the results in the given the young age of the patient, electroshock is not recommended under any circumstances, nor should it ever be. Jesus. And I'm guessing everyone that heard the song went crazy and they realized it was actually fucking horrible. Excuse me. Oh my god, the film projector leads- oh, it leads to the other side of- Ooh, that's not good, I'm not gonna like this. Oh, this is the morgue. Oh, I'm glad I left the power on in here. Right. Oh. Gapple. Okay, I thought it wouldn't mean to interact with that again. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again. God damn that one. That's a no for me. I want second to read that. Okay, I just read my guide to make sure that was okay to touch. Okay, 
right, so it's aimed at the fridge wall. Now I need to figure out how the fuck to get up here. Oh, I just go back through. Uh, the guide I was reading through in bold letters says do not open any of the pattern rooms. I did not mean to see that, but it played before the morgue part. Oh, that's a no for me. I'm assuming I used the scalpel to open that box up there. That's the literal only thing I can think of. Hopefully there's another key in that. I'm sure I hear crying. Also just realized the crying little girl we saw at the beginning of the game, I'm guessing that's Ari that was young Ariadne. That's why she gives she doesn't kill you at the beginning. Yes. Players. This I I'm assuming since it said we need a white source to go back into the fridge. I'm assuming that's what it is. Flares. Hello. Is there someone there? Does it actually want me? To oh, it's not giving me the choice. What's that sound? Oh, they're making you listen to that song. story and yet there's something that I can't explain it might oh. just be my mind playing tricks on me but I've started seeing things and I hear the music from Ariadne's music box in my head I need to understand this there's something threatening about this place the candles help me make the room a bit more cozy and the last rays of sunshine still come in through the window but the shadows in this room make me feel uneasy. All I've done is clean off the dust from an old mattress and lie on it, without even taking my clothes off, since I don't really think I'll get much sleep in this place. The silence here is oppressive, almost solid. Oh. Aside from the still hum of the phonograph and the old wooden beams creaking, I can't hear a single thing. Ariadne? Where am I? What the fuck? Do we have to play this again? Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be... Am I... dreaming? Oh, it's a streaming. What is this place? Can you open them up? It's here I felt it again. It sometimes happens though always at night when I turn on the lights. Almost uh perceptively barely. Imperceptibly barely. 
just barely past where I could see my where my eyes can see or when I close my eyes watching me flies that are not such lurking in the frontier between waking with us and sleep why is this stone here and why is it I'm assuming not anyway. hello GT how are you I've been better love um just kind of streaming to keep my mind off things but I've been better unfortunately our kitty is sick so I'm worried about him he's over there um we have to take him to his exam done on Monday I think we're gonna win. we have two scheduled you need to uh spill oh, that baby I'm sorry no, it's okay. Um, I'm just worried about him. He's not eating as much as he used to. Um, he's been better today, but he was really bad last night. So he has an appointment Wednesday, but we're also going to take him to an ER uh, walk-in like clinic on Monday. Just worried about the cost of everything. Um... My dreams are unusual and my rest troubled. When I wake up, I remember seeing something in the distance or a window I can barely make out. Or in a fleeting reflection in the bright surface of the river. As I walk in arm with my fiance, lost in the muds of the Great War. Other time, I hear a crowd watch me, and that thing is there among their gray verses devoid of expression. As soon as I notice existence, I stop being capable of finding it. Do I really want to? Do I mean to find it? What does it all mean? Yeah. Oh, thank you for the hard emotes. Jesus. Bitch, is that you? Our ghost Legrant. Not them finding my teenage diary. Is that him hanging himself in the second picture? Marcus Legrand, why am I seeing him? Girl, that's you. Wake up! It's it it it's me. Yeah, and it just told you to wake the fuck up. Oh, I guess if I would have checked this door, it probably wouldn't have been locked. Oh, descending staircase. Never fun. Just go in. Oh. It's the same room, and yet it's not. I was gonna say. Oh shit, that's um. Fisher? I forgot what, what his name was. And then that's. Sebastian Hosher. Why am I seeing these people? Oh shit, this predicted the future? Or our present, I guess. They're not naming it. I know it's there. It's present that's followed me everywhere and ever at once. I'm all killings. I also burn in my mind, taking through my thoughts and painting them in the color of fear every Everything becomes a little darker each day. God, what's happening to me? Where there is silence, I hear the melody, soft, slow, beautiful, dark, sinister, terrifying, and cruel. If I pay close enough attention, those impossible impo notes and unnatural chords echoing from the deepest caverns reach me without passing through my ears. In my dreams, I descend towards an indescribable place I beg never I beg never to get to see. When I wake up, all I remember is the dread, that thing is at the end of the road. I know it's there. I know it's there. If that's even the place, they're the same. It is there. 
No, it is not. It equals... It equals there. It can't be of this world. And it's here again. Which what you want? Tell me wake up again very vaguely. Wake up. It's me again. What does this mean? It means wake the fuck up. That's what it means. Okay. No, they found my diary. <laughs> Uh, just keep going through. I'm just guessing it's just going Oh, well, they're not marble statues this time. Who's this one about? It's the old woman for Ariana's journey. It's Ariana herself, according to her. And then that's Daniel. Who is this person? I've never seen him before. It's behind every <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're all gonna start with us. It's behind every door waiting for me to step through. In the cracks of the ceiling waiting for me to walk in. It's in each shadow, every nook and cranny waiting for me to turn my back. It's in the mirrors waiting for me to look. Doesn't know if I'm aware of it. Please tell me that it doesn't. No, no, no. If it knows that I know, it will come for me. The melody twists and warps. Played by gruesome instruments no per person could have created. It starts out with an awful screeching sound and slowly transforms it until, the, until it can be heard amidst the shrieking and anguish. I want my eyes. I want to close my eyes, but but I'm already asleep. I can't. I don't want to get there. These are not nightmares. It's more than that. I wish they were nightmares, but those are gone. They died of fear a long time ago. All that remains is the horror and the plateau. Only the presence and the foreboding echoes of the song. I want to disappear. I want to stop the suffering and torment and never hear or see anything again. I want to stop feeling it and doing it, but I have to finish. I must do it. I must get there. And this one's going to kill you. Wake up. This one. What is happening to me? This one was more aggressive. And I didn't hear an unlocking sound. Oh, this one's more broken. Oh. What? Who's there? Jesus Christ. Something. I don't know what I contemplated in my dreams, but it felt so real. It almost felt like I was moving forwards, or rather downwards. But I don't know towards what. Erin has decided to investigate Ariadne's story, and she found something. I need to keep looking into this. Yeah, she found hell. She found hell. Oh, we need to look in the room. Well. Nice one. Pointing two of Bernice a wax cylinder. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happened after that dream. Oh, this phonograph is fucked up. We need to find another one. Poem by Bernice. I drift to sleep. Drift off asleep by the hundredth number. Carried away despite resistance. Somewhere else out in the distance, avoid the void of deep, slumberful, peaceful slumber. 
The song, it beckons, it pulls me, it screams, guiding me to the depth of my own mind. An ominous glimpse. A soul thing I f find something dark, impossible to believe. These cannot only be dreams. Have I been condemned? Have it, Did I become lost? What I'm seeing, what it means. Endless expanse made of stone and a past of perpetual eclipse. The rims of a sun that is not our own. BP. She says, among these strange drawings is a note that says Elaine. Ariana's sister murdered alongside her mother. Ariana was just a baby. How can she remember this? I want to look at these actual drawings. Yep. Okay, so I don't have the keys for that. I have a belt. And I have a box of flares and a recording. Um, not sure what I do with the belt, but... Hold on. I remember reading that. I need to go to the kitchen. I need to use that flare. Get the mesh glove. I hear it crying. Also says I need to be quick about this. If the flare goes out, I die. Which honestly, I kind of figured anyways. <laughs> Go. I would throw two just to be safe. I pressed the listen button, I swear Shit. to god I did. That was not a good idea. I should have gone myself. I ah, damn it, Daniel. Don't be such a crybaby. <sighs> I'm gonna have to restart the entire chapter, aren't I? Oh no, no I'm not. I just have to use Daniel now. I fucking killed Lydia. I'm out of time. I have to find Lydia and the answers I'm looking 
fucking Lydia is dead. Because I am stupid and pressed the wrong button. I forgot E was the enter button instead of the listen button. Alright, where's my shit? God, I hope nothing's happened to you. I'm so sorry I got you into this Bro, she, she is fucking gone. Bag of Lydia's shit. The light on still in here. Fuck is the mesh club? Okay, take it. Take it and go. Take it and go. Take it and fucking go. Go. Fucking run. And I'm assuming I use it to get to the state bar. I also don't think I... I haven't found the lift yet. But we did everything we could in the ward, so I'm assuming we're just going to switch it, right? Stay for on. Oh. Mm. Staple belt. Don't know what to do with that, but it said in the description it was in two pieces. So, figures might as well, right? Alright, where the fuck do I go now? I have no idea what that left is, but. I want to know where it was, so I looked it up. It's near the morgue. This is the most I've had to use Daniel.
I just remembered not to open any of the doors. Or honestly, ignoring everything until I get to the left. Uh, oh, mechanical belt. Ha <laughs> ha. Horrified, let's go. I'll be very lucky if this thing doesn't go crashing down. I'm sure it will. Huh? The fuck is happening? the side of that door now. Got it. We should be right above the main lobby now. What is that? Letter from an artist, a brief message written by a friend of Dr. Bernice. Uh, attach a copy, it must be one of the incidents. From the walls of newly discovered chamber, the caves, the alt. Maria in Spain. I'm trying to look at that candle thing. No. Fuck. Oh, I'm not. Oh. What is it? Oh! She blinks, awoken by hunger. So... Her eye? Then her ear. Yeah, that fucking eye just moved. Then her wing. Her beak. She lands on her nest. And hoots to the wind announcing her victory. What the fuck would the hoot? The fuck would the hoop be from? The beak again? Her firm grass paralyzes you, foot. And blood spills as you feasts. Mouth again? Wings. Then she sleeps. This again? 
fuck? I, I don't know. I ear wing claw branch beak claw beak wing I hmm. Alan Cedric. Oh, there was a door I had missed here. Oh! What's here? Oh, there's a phonograph here. Something on that table. from the inside. Oh, something here. The fuck is this? Oh, I... What? And back to the thing I go. Yep, and this is why I follow a guide. at once. And the fourth valve. Two times.
Director's office. Looks like I managed to unblock the tube system. Yeah, I did it. I don't know what I just did, but I did. One sec. Okay. Time to do this and go back into the past. want to get out of here but on the other i need to know what's happening i need to the curiosity, the curiosity killed the cat and that was for a reason and the visions i've had these past few days it's pitch black outside and the old mansion is even more menacing than before i've taken out my last two candles but lighted only one in case i wake up before dawn hmm. It would terrify me to be here, alone in the dark. I'm in Ariadne's room again. 1920, the second dream. Is this the same dream? Time to delve deeper into darkness. Hospital, it can't be real, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm in here now. It's just where everyone wants to go, the hospital. She doesn't want to go to those fucking places the same way as everyone else goes. I'm guessing she's seeing a future version of herself. I know I'm dreaming, but a little map would be nice. Stuck. Hmm. Walk on the gate. Who are you? Are you also me? The dream catcher. Give it to me. Is the question, should I give her the thing? Hmm. Okay, I guess you do give it to her. Need to investigate. You need 
to know, you need to keep going down. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. No, you had a choice. You could have woke the fuck up. Also, like... Can we give like major props to this psychiatrist who not only was like actually trying to help her patient and not cruel ways, but even agreed to do all of this horrible stuff like sleep in the mansion to only- <laughs> Only to find herself in this hell. That's supposed to fucking happen to me. Okay, that was scripted. Okay, okay. good to know. Timmy, where am I now? Only one way out. Only one way out. What does? Where did that come from? What's going on? Oh, uh, yeah, it wants me to do. No, that can't be. There's not even anything to tie it to. Good luck, girl. That's the only one that gave me an option. That was... Why would I do something like that? I know I'm closer to understanding something, to finding that last puzzle piece. But I also realize there's no turning back. I feel like... I've broken something inside of me that can't be mended. Each dream feels closer to that place. And further from reality, it's mm. still dark outside. But it seems like the candle burned out a while ago. It must be close to dawn. Yes, it can't be long now. I have to find answers. Get to the bottom of this matter. I'm assuming she never did. And what is happening to me? Oh God, Berenice, tell me you understood. I need to find the next recording. Okay. We can go back down this way. Get in here. Who said it was the last recording? Like, how do all of a sudden you know that's exactly the last one?
third experiment report. Uh, general examination by Director Edward Saunders of the experiment performed by a Bernice. Oh. Five patients from the experiment group have all disappeared, all except for the original test subject, Ariane. I don't know if they have escaped or if the wall swallowed them, but they've left no stray security to not register any relevant incident either. I have looked for the doctor to f inform her of this, but she is nowhere to be found. When I asked Ariadne if she had seen her, she, looked sh she shook her head and asked me if she was finally there. I asked her what she meant, but she didn't give away anything else. It's been impossible to reestablish establish communication with her. I have a terrible feeling about this. Damn. Or Bernice. Is dedicated, I'll give her that. Dead it can oh my god. Oh the needle broken half? I'm sorry, what? Is that a death trap? Oh, is that Husher? That was awful, JT. That was an awful joke. It's also great at the same time, though. Open the store. Will I enter this room? Doesn't say anything about going into that room. I'm not going in there. Because Daniel's my last character and I don't want to die. Okay, that's a pie puzzle. Staff entrance hallway. Okay, I've already done this.
Mm. Ah, this door. Locked up. And then why the fuck do I go in here? Ah, gotcha. First around the right. Thing I can open with that. Stethoscope. At first, at first I was dismissive of her experiment. Why waste all those resources on providing and proving to a sick girl that, that what she claimed to see was due to abnormal functioning of her psyche. Yet it all made sense when the subject, the patients, when she subjected the patients to the song in the music box and when the door, doctor began to describe her own experiences. The rapid mental and cognitive decline and hallucinations suffered by the test subjects in the experiment became impossible to ignore. It's not only when with a new disorder, but also once the effects described spread to the hospital staff. For the first time in history, a, a contagious mental illness. A Nobel Prize on a silver platter. Oh god. In light of the results, however, facts. I found my expectation the song completely broke their minds and took them all to the pinnacle of their madness. That's the one thing the data shows that they all share in common except for Ariadne. That girl is the only one from the group still with us. Her cell is the only one free of horrible screaming. And hers is the only behavior that hasn't changed. She's the only one to have gone on unscathed and still acts exactly as she did before the experiment. <laughs> Not them finding my medical records. I think Dr. Pestigard was right about the reasons for this. Ariane's file indicates that she was exposed to the song when she was barely a few months old. She was a baby, her mind a bank canvas with women less capacity for adaptation not like us we broke or are going blank going to break Ariana's mind like a young tree bending under unbearable forces has not snapped but rather grown in a different way it has twisted and therefore can no longer be broken the song the dark figure the horrible visions and dreams are simply her normalcy her everyday life since she can she can remember. God, that's dark. If only I could find a Dr. Pessigard and tell her, tell her she was right. There is no solution. What will become of, of us all? Well, someone tell Daniel that. Because he's dragged so many people to their death.
Okay. Now I have to go to the pad cells. <laughs> Honey, that's just calling me at 14. <laughs> oh god. Uh, now I have to go to the padded cells and listen to the one without sound. If I enter, if I make any mistake, I die. I left my phone charger room, FYI. Uh, JT. Such a cutie. What the fuck? Oh. I must have to go down. Go using the lift. I forgot about the lift. I really hated that. What the fuck? This game sometimes, man. Yeah, I go down. I'll be fine. You can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. This game, I hate this game. I really fucking hate this game. Could be this one. Okay, so it must be that one.
syringe. Lost drawing. Okay. Back to this. Back to the left. Am I almost finished with this house of horrors, please? I'm honestly just terrified of getting Daniel killed. If I get Daniel killed, I'm gonna have to restart this whole thing, and I don't think I have it in my heart to restart this entire game. Or restart the Inchiao chapter. Nothing creepy coming this way? Assuming I have to check this needle. I didn't even end up using this. Or was it automatically used? Go, Bernice. Let's see what happened. Night three. This place. That thing. The presence. That's what Argos Legrand called that horror. Now I know why. Yep. It's anywhere the song is. In the hospital. In Ariadne. In me. Everywhere. Maybe there's no solution. Maybe it isn't something you can just end. But maybe cut it off from everything, from from this world. Burn the bridge. Return the song to whence it came. If I take the box to that place, if I leave it there, with the presence, I need to push forward just a little longer. Mm. I need to understand. I need to put an end to this. I need to go there. No. I need to know. I need to make it. The third dream, and I'm guessing the final. Well, I'm guessing you never make it to the bottom or make Eva to return because Daniel's here. can do it forever going away cranking away this is horrifying it's like a bottomless abyss it's never gonna end
Come on, you got this, lady? I don't know why, but I'm cheering for you. You finally made it to the bottom. Ariadne, did you want me to come here? Oh, there's someone waiting. Is that Daniel? Yes. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh shit. Shit. I'm running out of time. Hmm. How'd he know he was running out of time? was right. She was right about everything. I've seen it with my own eyes. E even if it was in dreams, it's true. That place. The presence. I know what I have to do. Now that I'm awake, I need to... I need to get the music box and find a way to take it there. Yes. I solved this riddle. Now that I'm awake, I can put an end to this horror once and for all. Now that I'm awake, I can... I can... Awake. Oh, God, if you fall asleep. That's so horrifying. Oh, there is a finale. All right, there. Let's go. How long does this take? What saved Ariadne would not save me. She had grown up with that melody and had developed a mind so distorted that it could withstand the horrors it saw each day. But there was another way out. To break the connection between our reality and that terrible place. Well, to take the song and its nightmares to their place of origin. We're gonna have to do that. I was the only person who could do it. The only one who had heard the melody and, so far, lived to tell the story. Time was running out. The mansion was still far away and my damned car chose that precise moment to go belly up. Everything seemed to conspire against me, but I wasn't about to give up. There wasn't much time left, but I knew I still had a chance. Do I have to solve puzzles and shit for this too? Oh my god, I thought this would be the end of it. It's not. Hold on. I have to look this up. I don't know if I have time. Hmm. 
long is it though? Oh, okay. Looks like it's not that long. Come on, you got this. Hello. She doesn't answer. I should go inside. Mrs. Legrand, pardon me for barging in like this, but I need that box. The box, the music box I gave you, I need it. Please tell me where it is. Its box is upstairs. Thank you. I promise I'll free both of us from that cursed thing. Boxes upstairs. Okay, the box is somewhere on this floor. Through the grand doors, maybe. Let's go. Bring it, bitch. Where am I? You know where you are. Turn the lamppost off. Doctor Prestigard. <gasps> Prestigard's nightmare. You haven't heard the song, but I don't remember who they are. Ariadne, are you there? She always lies. The man next door, he always lies about his dreams. Oh. You recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun. Two of them who still haven't heard the song. A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? No. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? No. Hmm. A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? How? Oh, which one? Which one? Little cherry kitty. Hi. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you, love?
How, how do I know which one's not which? Oh, there's numbers right there. Two. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? Okay. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Do, do, do. I'm trying to figure out that current ending of this. Oh. Her answer was no. So maybe five and two. Hmm. Uh, let's just go with one and two. Well, one we didn't see. Oh wait. I select which one. Yeah, one and two. This is horrible, by the way. Exposing people to that damn thing. Let's see if I was right. Oh no, it can't be. Uh, help me, please. Okay. The lantern blew out. If I could just do the same with the rest. Our ghost like a rat. And you notice the sledgehammer in the front. That's always dark and horrible. Oh, he's going to kill his kids. Ariadne? Go find your kid. Ariadne, where are you? Ariadne, hold on. Dad is going to save you. It's, it's very hard to sell. Can I hear it again? Oh. 
I'm gonna go in further. What in the fuck is this? Or is this the nightmare? Did you actually do it or are you trapped in a nightmare? It's actually sunny for once in the house. I'm gonna take it back. It's pretty fucking dark and gross in here. No way. No. She was down here, wasn't she? Everything will be okay, Mrs. Legrand. Ah, and that song will never play in this world again. You think, and then you fall asleep. Yep, I, I knew it. Fallen asleep. I fucking knew it. It's always the dream cliche. It's getting late. Do you mind if I turn on the light? No. He doesn't like the light. No. But it likes the sound. <laughs> Rowan, my firstborn and my pride. Hmm. If that was for Elaine, was that Ariadne actually down there? Or was that actually Elaine? I don't know. Oh, I'm guessing that's... Hello. Is there anyone there? Helena? Helena, help me see! I'm guessing these are all the people. Oh! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, I was right. The pe all those fucking hands are just trying people trying to get out. God, that's fucked up. Nice get past this. 
Or do I have to listen to what I do? I wonder if there's going to be a hidden scene, so I'm going to stay. But I'm going to answer a text message while this plays. God, this was horrifying. I think this is one of, definitely one of the scariest games, if not the scariest game I've ever played. I've never really been on big on horror. Other than like the Resident Evil games, and those to me aren't that scary. It's more of a thrower to me than an actual scare. Is that it? Nope. I'm loving memory of Amelia. I'm not gonna butcher those names. R.I.P. Oh, was that real? Oh, I didn't realize it was Unreal Engine. HP Lovecraft difficulty has been locked. No. Yeah, that's a no for me. Alright, everyone. We finally finished Song of Horror. So. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna raid out if we can. Um, gonna raid out the Solid Plasma. Blue is currently playing... Among Us. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you stopping by during my horror-filled episode. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And, goodbye!